Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Careless Exploration, Episode 9. I am Zrondin, and today's agenda consists of more of the Dread Waste. Sorry, I almost said Dread Steps. Dread Waste Exploration. Uh, obviously, this is a level 90 zone, so there's quite a bit of danger here. Anyways, I see a bunch of cool rock giant guys here, but I am interested in this island back here. So I'm going to try and get there. Um... As I was walking here earlier, though, I did actually aggro a shark, or it was a fish, I guess. And uh, he actually followed me out of the water, which was quite freaking nasty. Um, so I'm going to try and kind of run along the shore here, see what we can do about that. I'm going to check that out. There is a critter to pet battle that is underwater there. That's kind of cool. I haven't seen that before. And there, there's those guys that got me earlier. And they will actually come out of the water. They're... I think it's just because they're bugged, because, you know, it's beta stuff. But not, not, not good. Don't want that. <laughs> so, I'm going to get the heck away from them. I'm going to try and find a way up onto this island. I think I see one over there. So, let's head on over that way. Figure out what this island is all about. So, it's called Zanves. That eh, sort of sounds troll, but I think that's still an Asian-themed name. And I thought there was a ramp up here. There clearly isn't. Uh, but as you can see, there's a bunch of manted up here. And that's that would end the sour for me. Uh, look at that guy, though. That's pretty wicked looking. He looks pissed. <laughs> All right. I'm going to do a quick spin around this island, see if there's any access points I can kind of get up to. Uh, if there's nothing, I will just speed up the video. And again, as usual, as soon as I say that, I find a ramp. So, I'm going to at least take a peek up here, see what we can find out. And, oh, hey, some of those rock spinny things we've seen before. Not really rock worms. Elemental rock worms or something like that. As well as a dread spore bulb. Oh, God, it opened. What is it? Shadow damage inflicted every two seconds. Okay, not that bad. <laughs> it was, I thought that was going to kill me. As, as everything seems to try and kill me in here. And that is a lot of scorpions. Oh, boy. And look, you can see more amber falling out of the tree over there. I assume that's amber, at least. So, I mean, I'm going to go back down off of this cliff face. Because uh, everything up here is going to aggro and try and kill me. So, again, do some island spinning. Alright, I got another ramp up here. So, we're going to run up, take a peek, see what we can see. Hopefully there's some interesting stuff. Uh, obviously there's some mantid in the way, so this might be a, one, a short trip. But I'm going to do my best to kind of peek on up here. And whoa, what is that? Did you see that in the distance there? Okay, we're going to try and spin around see if we can see that thing again. Um, obviously we need to try and lose the mantid that are after me at the moment. And uh, that may not have been the best decision there. Oh, nope, there they go. Okay. Let's see if we can spin around and see what that was. It looks like a giant mantid, like, suspended in the air. I don't, I don't really know what it was. Here we go. Alright. Is it... Okay, there we can kind of... Adjunct... Sec... Uh, ad, adjunct secot? Let's see if we can run at him. Um, <laughs> yeah, obviously careless. Here we go. Oh, no, no, that's a cliff. Oh god, the slow beam. The slow beam. Oh, and want my demons on passive, of course. Why wouldn't he be? And my stun's missing. Anyways, look at that guy. That is... Wow! Let's see if I can try and pull off a better angle here? Not really. Huh. And he, obviously, he's a quest mob. I uh, kill him, he probably dropped something. Eh, interesting. To be honest, the Dreadways haven't been very impressive to me. Um, there's a lot of neat stuff, but the majority of it's just been kind of lots of difficult to fight things. Obviously, A being 85, everything's difficult to fight. Check that out, though. The uh, Yongle seem to be imprisoned by the Mantid here. That's something I haven't seen yet. That's interesting to note. Anyways, let's get the heck out of here. Yet again, I'm going to do some more island spinning, so back when there's something worthwhile. Okay. 
All right, it looks like we have one more ramp here on the island, so I'm gonna again pop my head up here, see what we can figure out, and be on our way. And you know, nothing terribly different. More mantid, more elemental oh, rockworm things. So yeah, nothing of note here, really. Anyways, I saw something interesting on the mini-map over here in the water. I'm gonna go, or not on the full map, so I'm gonna run over there and see if it's real. Um, we'll speed up to that. Alright, sure enough, uh, I did see a ship here, Wreck of Mist Hopper. So, I'm gonna put on a little bit of unending breath, and we're gonna head on in there to see what this might be all about. Hopefully I don't aggro any crab people or anything like that. There's plenty of baddies around. But even this is... I don't think there's anything inside of it. I don't know. There's some internals. Let's see if we can get in there without aggroing anybody. There's nothing in here. Wow, this is just a huge letdown so far. I, this episode sucks so far. Oh, maybe something in here? No. No, just an old crappy ship. What a waste of time. Check out the size of that shark. Wow. That is impressive. I don't see too many sharks, honestly. So they're still kind of a cool model, even though they aren't completely new. Anyways, I'm going to head on up here. Um, there's a neutral flight path nearby. I want to try and get to that. So in the meantime, we're going to wander around here. Check that guy out. He's... Shooting a laser at a tree. I don't know what he's doing. Maybe he's a mantid lumberjack. And whoa, look at that yak! Some sort of elite super yak over here. Maybe... Maybe a world boss? Maybe a quest mob? I don't know, that's... Not as cool as Yak God, but uh, that's pretty cool yak there. And yeah, he is... He is sizable. And what is going on over here? Calves and their yak parent, I guess? Almost looks like he's teaching a yak class. Oh, cool! Is that the neutral town? Yes, it is. Cool, we can uh, drop right down into it then. Get a little bit of parachute cloak action. Hey, it actually shows up for once as well. Alright, so we'll grab the flight path from this lady. And see what's here. Stable master. Oh, it's the crew of the Mist Hopper, the sunk ship we were at. Huh. That's awesome. What, what is that? The camera? Hello. That's clearly got to be some sort of quest or something. That's really interesting. There's a bunch of crabs in a net over there. Oh my god, that's too cool. I gotta go check that out. This is a cool little spot. This is probably the coolest thing I've found in the Dreadways, to be honest. Yeah, a bunch of crabs in a net. That's awesome. Yeah, this is definitely pretty cool. Um, I think this might be the fishing reputation, guys. Either... Oh, cool. Check that guy out carrying that big fish. Okay, yeah, this is finally something entertaining, at least. And this is a chunk of ship here. I don't think this would be any of the mist hoppers. It looked pretty whole where it was there sunk. I don't know. Maybe they're trying to build a new one very, very badly. They're not very good at building boats. I don't know. Alright, let's move on from here. I think I saw a ramp up over here. We're gonna head north from here. Uh, there definitely seems to be plenty of dread steps left. There's a couple more flight paths along the way as I'm running into a rock. Um, so I'm gonna try and hit those points. Typically, there's interesting things on the way to points like that. Um, obviously, as it's the nine. Oh my! Giant elite scorpions now too. Jeez, this place is deadly. I yikes! Look at that guy. As I, as I get closer to him, oh boy. Get the heck out of here. Kai Party Czar. What? Lake of Stars. I, I don't know what anything is. Is that a giant elite lizard? No. Oh, somebody's fighting him. Nice. That's the Lake of Stars. Look at the 
little glowy things on them. And more lizard people. Huh. Alright. Fair enough. Whatever. I'm not sure what to think of that. Um, I think Kapari Zar is the tree here. Of course, I could check my map. Yeah, that's the case. Oh, can we go in it? Go in the tree? Oh, maybe I'm going to regret this. This seems like a really bad idea. I'm doing it anyway. Oh my god! That's a huge dead crocodile. That's Shaw infected. Check it out. Oh god, what's hitting me? Oh boy, something hurts. Cobalt. What? There's little baby crocodiles. Oh boy. Um, where's my stun? There we go. Get the heck out of here. Woo! <laughs> I'm glad that crocodile wasn't alive, because I probably would have had to have tried and fought him and lost un uh, horribly. <laughs> but let's get the heck out of here. Figure out what else. How are we making it? We're not making it very good time towards that fly path. Um. Oh boy. More more scorpions. They seem to be my nemesis in this dang zone. Run along a tree trunk here. Drop on down. There's another mantid statue. Oh, more scorpions. Ay, ay, ay. Are these turtles nice? These turtles are nice, thankfully. Oh, look, they're in their shells asleep. That's awesome. Ha, <laughs> uh, Little touches. Oh, God, scorpions. Oh, so many scorpions. Oh, please. Get me away from scorpions. Oh, boy. More Sha-infected elites down here as well as Mantid. This is... Oh, this is like... Okay. Oh, God, I'm in it. This is pretty cool, though. It's like this huge line of a warpath or something. There's a big rock guy over there. He's probably Sha-infested, too. My camera just screwed it up and almost probably killed me. Um, here's a ramp out of here. Let's try to get the heck out of here. Ch check out that cool Sha-infested little tree. Oh, God, I'm terrible. Oh. And somehow they're not killing me. I don't know how this is going down. I got so lucky there. I should have died multiple times. All right, I think this huts here are going to be the flight path. I'm going to try and get there. Check that out. A bunch of wasps flying around in a swarm. That's awesome. And a cool cat. Let's see if we can get this. Oh, it's one of the black tigers. Okay, get the heck out of here. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hopefully these guys are friendly. They are friendly. What is this guy? Grand. Oh, cool. It's a pet battle guy. His pets are 25. Wow, those are high level pets. I don't like that. Alright, head on up here. Almost to that flight path. Where is. Oh, cool. Like a whole little altar, temple, or. Oh! The... What? These are nice, Manted? What? I don't even. Okay, cool. There's clearly some sort of faction of Manted that are on our side or something. This is. I don't. <laughs> I'm obviously a little bit wordless. Yeah. Something of value. Cool. Buy, sell. <laughs> you seek to trade. Awesome. Buy, awesome. Sell. Awesome. I didn't expect a neutral faction or a nice faction of Manted. The fact that that's in is fantastic. Means their whole race isn't decrepit and evil either. And look, a hole. I'm gonna run in it. What do you think's in here? No nothing good, I would imagine. Oh, that's what's in here. And losing your mount. What? Okay then. It's it's a room with nothing in it. Okay, um, let's get the heck out of here then. Nothing worthwhile in there. Ah, oh, I can't respec. I got this instant fear here instead of this burning rush, which lets me run faster. I kind of wish I would have grabbed that so I could run faster when I don't have my mounts and I'm out of my belt. But that's cool. Get the heck out of here. And there's... Another flight path up here, however, I want to try and figure out what's over here. So that's where we're going to head. And I almost freaked out. I keep thinking Manted are all evil. I just see a Manted and I'm like, oh my god, I'm going to die. And I could have mounted up sooner too. Oh <laughs> well. 
<laughs> let's head on east or west rather and see what's over here and look at that what is that and my camera goes too fast again look at that giant crystal thing and a what the heck is that whoa some sort of giant beetle lord manted manipulation no freaking clue okay these are the bug model kind of thing from uh, AQ20 I believe still a really cool model that definitely could be used more like seeing that that is wicked and I don't obviously don't want to touch those they will thrash me into yesterday let's see if we can kinda of weave around here and figure out what's up here Whoa, swirly gook going on. Maybe this is where they're controlling these big beetles or even possibly making them? Oh, man, I don't know. And check out that door over there. Some sort of temple, gate, a city of some sort. Possibly even a raid? Let's see if we can get close enough to try and figure that out. And you will notice they're, they're death gripping me or something. That's kind of annoying. And uh, also pretty cool. Death Grip's a really fun ability. If you've never played with it, guys, you really should play it Death Knight. Anyways, let's see about this. The Heart of Fear. We were somewhat near this last video, but yeah, yep, yep, yep. It's a raid, all right. Definitely didn't check this out last time. Is there... Check that out. There's a Manted Ghost there. Sweet! Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for episode 9 of Careless Exploration. I was a little slow at times, but uh, Dreadwise kind of seems to be sporadic about that. And uh, as far as the whole Careless Exploration thing goes, we're actually kind of close to being done. Um, I want to get the Veil of the Eternal Blossom done, as well as Jade Forest. I believe Jade Forest is open up again, and I'm going to carelessly explore all of Jade Forest, even though I've done some questing there. But that's about it. I mean, probably just four or five more episodes. So, and then we'll have seen pretty much all Pandaria. So, we'll see what we what we do when we get to that point. Anyways, I am Zorondon. I want to thank you guys for tuning in, and I will see you guys next time.